Okay. All right. So the knot we're going to learn right now is uh, critical. It's a little intimidating when I first started tying it and uh, until I got uh, used to it and learned how to tie it proficiently, but it's a double fisherman's knot. And essentially it's just two overhand knots tied on each other uh, to uh, join in this instance, one continue or one piece of rope into a continuous piece of rope that we're going to use for a prussic knot. Um, it can also be used for repelling, uh, run out of rope, get to the end of your rope. Maybe you can tie off another piece on the end of it, lengthen that rope for whatever purpose, uh, repelling or climbing, whatever that uh, need may be. But regardless, uh, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to join two pieces of the same size rope like this. So I'm going to take my rope. I'm going to lay it out so I've got two pieces uh, running alongside each other like this. Now I'm simply going to take one piece and I'm going to tie a double overhand knot. I'm going to give it one wrap. I'm going to wrap it a second time. And I'm just going to bring it back through the loops. I'm going to snug it. Almost looks like it's got an X pattern to it. And over here it's just got two coils. On the other side, I'm going to take this piece of rope, bring it back on itself, and double wrap it. One, wrap it twice, and again, bring it back up on itself. And when you pull it tight, the uh, X's will meet each other. When they come together, and on the other side, you'll see a row of uh, vertical strands of rope, four strands. This side, it looks like you've got two X's. So again, I'm just going to loosen the knot. Once you've put weight on this and applied it to it, it is very difficult to get untied. You'll almost have to cut it out. Um, but again, take the rope, lay it out side by side. Take one piece. Wrap it over itself two times. I'm going to run it uh, back up and through. Snug it down. I'm going to take the other one, wrap it twice. Again, just two double overhand knots is all you're tying here. And that one's going to come back on itself right there. Snug it. Pull them together. Again, the X's will run together. And I see my four vertical strands of rope. And something you can do is dress that down a little bit so you don't have quite as much uh, rope hanging out the end. Something I like to do, makes them nice and neat. I virtually don't buy any more sewn prussics. I always tie my own. Uh, this is six millimeter cord that I'm using right here. I use this on both eight and nine millimeter rope a lot. I back all my devices up with this. I trust rope more than I do any mechanical device. So I use it frequently as a backup. So uh, please like, subscribe. I hope this video will help someone.